is almost two nexus capped on energy. My nexus is sitting at 50 energy, dropping my natural expansion. I'm, I'm actually the last player to uh, drop an expansion as some young guy has been operating off of this hatchery for quite some time. I don't know if some young guy should be taking down these rocks, that would leave him very exposed. I think he would be better off just using this as his front door, um, and by leaving these rocks up he can pretty much eliminate any attacks on, him in on his own natural expansion. It's possible that these speedlings and roaches are going to meet each other actually, they're both converging here on this high location and some young guy has switched to midlisks. The midlisks have their work cut out for them, a decent blink trying to evade the fire of these zerglings and midlisks. Doing a bit of a micro dance here, uh, but now it looks like the Zerg force is withdrawing. No upgrades on those Midlisks. Mm, these Roaches and Zerglings have no upgrades save for the Metabolic Boost. Taking a look real quick at the Roach War, and the improved movement speed of the Roaches is complete, so we have the Roaches and Zerglings moving very quickly. But no armor or bonus, what's the other one? Armor damage. No bonus armor or, or damage coming in from those ground units. Three robotics facilities, four stargates. That's actually not too unreasonable, especially if Tonka Truck can fully saturate these expansions. My stalkers here, with the help of the Selnaga Watchtower, forcing back any Zerg units, uh, making very good use of this high ground. I'm actually throwing some sentries in to my main wall of stalkers, probably just for some extra anti air and. Couldn't hurt to have that guardian shield up and running as well. So these, let's see, uh, production, why not? Tonka truck, putting down a fleet beacon and a robotics bay. So high tier units, and actually air armor coming out from Tonka truck. So high tier units are in the works for Tonka truck. If we can get those out in play, I mean, it'll be devastating for the other two players in this free for all game. He actually, his income is, is also very scary. He has almost doubled the Zerg player's income, um, and yeah, we, as as the purple and green players, we can't let Tonka Truck operate off of all these devastating production buildings. If he can get this tech out in play, yeah, once again, I said it earlier. Really, these tier one and tier one point five and tier two units will not be enough to stop um, this large amount of immortals void rays and Colossus. No Colossus coming out just yet. Also he hasn't upgraded the extended Thermal Lance. He is instead operating off of three normal gateways still and he is pumping Void Rays. So I'm not too concerned about the Void Rays um, as these stalkers do do bonus damage to them and also I have the upgraded Particle Disruptors as well. Zerglings soaking up a lot of the damage from those uh, for those roaches and needlesks. Coming in now with a couple of sentries for support, my guardian shield is up and running. That's providing two extra units of armor, I should say. So I think it would be wise for some young guy to switch up his tech a little bit. Yeah, he has the, an infestation pit in play. And he is dropping a Nidus Worm at the back of my junk. Loading up this Nidus, this Nidus Worm now, I would presume. Yeah, he's loading that up with a bunch of Zerglings and Roaches. And all of these probes are pretty much done for. Finally, I am making my Stalkers mobile. Rushing back to my Mineral Line. Chrono boosting some more probes just to try to keep up with my spending. I'm actually uh, pretty gas starved. I don't have... Yeah, this is a, a very bad play on my part. My second Nexus energy is capped, although at this stage in the game it's very hard to use all those Chrono Boosts, but possible, certainly. But my point was, um, just as these Zerglings and Roaches invade my Mineral Land, those Stalkers are going to blink in to provide support. But my point was, I have not switched any probes to these Assimilators, and I'm gas starved, so... I think it was Crota, the player Crota, who said... It, it, you know, it's, he's stating the obvious, but it's a good tip nonetheless. If you find yourself gas starved and you're getting that, you know, Vespine gas error message, what that tells you is, I mean, some people, they, it's, it sounds simple, but they overlook it. What it tells you is, when you get that error message, transfer those three probes onto any assimilators that you have, um, and that are, that are not being mined from. 
so if that didn't make a lot of sense, what I was trying to say is, if you need gas, harvest gas. Still no upgrades on those Mutalisks. Really, as long as my Sockers have these plus two particle disruptor upgrades and the Mutalisks have no upgrades, they are going to melt to the fire of the Sockers. Finally taking it, taking down these destructible rocks as I realized that um, ground units that spawn on this side of my terrible SimCity will not be able to get out of my base. So actually I have stopped to taking down these rocks. Strange play from Wrapped as always. Ooh, Hive Tech is finally coming out for uh, some young guy. Tonka Truck, he has... Oh, there, there's his army. I was wondering what he was doing with all these production buildings. He's got a pretty scary amount of Void Rays. He now has them selected, probably going to move out w into my base, as that is the most convenient solution. Moving out now with a group of Stalkers and Sentries. Just going to see what they can get done. Tonka Truck's Observer is actually in play before mine. I don't... Oh, I do have an Observer, actually. It's probably out in the map somewhere, but right now we have the Stalkers facing up against these new lists. Superfluous Guardian Shield, but just putting that up for some insurance. Moving in now to some young guy's main base. I don't think he will have enough forces to deter these units, especially considering that I have three attack upgrades. Why well, I'm shouting that Mutalisk, really. Um, <laughs> again, some superfluous force fields, but really the force fields are a testament to um, some young guy's chances in this game. Birdlings aren't going to be enough. Taking on those spy crawlers, there are no threats remaining in some young guy's base, so I'm going to go ahead and discount him from this from, from uh, this cool Ravine occasion. And goodness, uh, Tonka Truck is heavily fortifying this bottom right location. Looks like Tonka Truck is going to be playing the role of that player in the free for all, uh, or in the th in the three player free for all specifically. He's going to be playing the role where. Whereas the first two players are too busy fighting and killing each other, he's going to be the one that techs up and just uses his economy to overwhelm the remaining player. So yeah, right now he's going to take down my, uh, my key buildings. I have some Colossus, but I'm very much out of position. Uh, these stalkers are trying to do what they can to, to take back this push. But uh, yeah, some young guy apparently saying that he was on the phone, so blaming his loss to that for the most part. He's not out of the game completely, uh, um, actually. Uh, uh, well, these Immortals are doing a lot of damage to these Stalkers, blinking them now behind the cover of this Colossus. The Colossus putting out some damage, but not being micro greatly, as that very expensive unit is taken down. Reinforcing this battle now with two Colossus here on this high ground, and it looks like uh, Tonka Truck's main attack force is forced to pull back for the time being. Yeah, kind of a uh, lackluster effort here from some young guy, but again, he did say he was on the phone, so it's very possible that that is true. Two armor upgrades, one shield upgrade, and one attack upgrade on these void rays. I don't know why he wasn't sending in those void rays while his immortals and junk were pressing my front door. That would have definitely eliminated me from this game. Pumping now some additional observers and colossus. I made a warp prison by accident. Where is that Nidus Worm? Another Nidus Worm in my base. He actually... <laughs> there's nothing in it right now as far as I can tell. Ah, oh, he actually has a bunch of Zerglings. So coming out with a bunch of Zerglings and a, a single Hydralisk here to just... <laughs> uh, you know, remind me of the fact that I did not eliminate him from the game when I had the chance. Not too much of a concern, however, is those few remaining units are going to be retreating to that Nidus Room. Bringing these Colossus over here. I've got four Colossus, but they can't do anything against these Void Rays. These Void Rays are actually forced to pull back. I think if they focus fired, they could have taken down these Stalkers pretty easily, but again, they do have those three attack upgrades, so I am able to stay in this game for the time being. And actually, some young guy is trying to claw his way back as well, but... Zerg comebacks have happened in the past. I don't know if he can pull it off this time. 
Tonka truck once again is skyrocketing ahead with the income here. Trying to put some pressure on this. Wow, that what is this class is doing? That's pretty inexcusable. That's just a complete waste of resources and gas. Um, so, a bit of a misplay here from Wrapped. Uh, it's possible that that was just a broken rally point or something, but either way, I threw a Colossus away.